to attract the world's attention towards India's ancient wisdom and knowledge, recently a Global Ayush Investment and Innovation Summit 2022 was being held in India. So hello everyone, a warm welcome to all of you in the today's top PIV news session on EduTap in which we are going to discuss the top PIV news from the month of April 2022. And here is the headline from the PIV itself that the first ever Global Ayush Investment and Innovation Summit was being held in Gandhinagar. So guys, in this particular session, we will be discussing all the important key takeaways about the summit. So when we talk about this summit, recently Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has inaugurated this particular summit and during the summit, the Prime Minister of Mauritius as well as the Director General of the World Health Organization were also present. Now coming to the important points about this particular summit, the very first thing is that which ministry was basically behind organizing this particular summit. That was basically the Ministry of Ayush which has organized the summit in Gandhinagar, Gujarat on April 20th. Now a question must be popping out in your mind that why this summit was being released. Basically this was being organized to uncover the investment potential in the Ayush industry of India and with this particular summit the government of India is aiming to provide a fillip to the innovation, research and development the startup ecosystem and the wellness industry. Apart from that, this summit is also going to bring together the academicians, industrial leaders and the scholars so that these three pillars in future can work on this Ayush sector. When we talk about the important data which was being unveiled during this particular summit, this particular summit, during the summit it was being announced that the trade value of the Ayush sector in 2014 was 3 billion dollars and this number has increased around 6 times to the 18 billion dollars in year 2021. So when we talk about the annual growth rate, so that was basically 75% from 2014 to 2021 and this basically indicates the potential which this industry is having. Okay, so guys, apart from that, the FSSAI has also announced a new category under its regulation and this was basically Ayush Ahar. Apart from that, the government of India has also announced that Ministry of Ayush will be coming up with the Ayush mark. This Ayush mark will be applied to the highest quality Ayush products which will be made in India. And during this particular summit, the summit basically concluded with a very good investment proposals that is of around 9000 crores guys. This value is also very important from the exact point of view. And this particular investment will be done under various industries such as uh, under the FMCG, medical value travel and services, pharmaceuticals, uh, technology and diagnostics etc. So guys, apart from that, there is one more important point that you are required to remember from the exam point of view that recently the WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine was being inaugurated in Jamnagar, Gujarat, which is also a very important point to be remembered from the exam point of view. Tikaji, moving on to the next important points during the summit, the Ministry of Ayush has signed an MOU with the Ministry of Defense under which they are going to start the Ayush facilities in over 35 cantonment areas across India and this summit was being organized in line with the sustainable development goal number three which basically caters to promotion of the good health and well-being. So guys, these are the important points that you are required to remember from the exam point of view. Apart from that, the government of India is also planning to develop a network of the Ayush parks which will basically encourage the promotion, research and the manufacturing of these Ayush products. Apart from that, government of India has also announced that they are working on another important initiative that is Ayush Visa which will uh, facilitate the foreign people who are basically interested in getting Ayush therapy from India. And guys, there is one more important point that you are required to remember. That is during the summit, Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has announced that India is a treasure trove of herbal plants. And these herbal plants were being referred as the green gold by the Indian Prime Minister. So that's why this also you are required to remember from the exam point of view. So now let's move on to the question, the practice question on the Global Ayush Investment and Innovation Summit. And what you are required to do, you are just required to identify the correct statement in relation with this. So always what you are required to do, you are required to just focus on the keywords. So here the very first statement, the keyword is the Ministry of Ayush, the, which has basically organized the summit in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. And in the second line, it was basically given the aim of this particular summit. In the third point, it was basically uh, talking about 
the MOU which was being signed between Ministry of Ayush and the Ministry of Defense. So guys, as for our today's discussion, all these points are correct in terms of this particular summit and that's why the right answer will be option D, that is all of the above. Now moving on to the next important news of the day, that is recently under the Azadi Kamrut Mahotsav, a campaign, a inter-ministerial campaign was being launched. The name of the campaign is Azadi Se Antode Tak and this is a 90 day inter-ministerial campaign. So all these important points are basically given in the headline itself. That is the name of this particular campaign, the duration that is 90 day and guys apart from that why this particular campaign has been launched. See under this campaign they are basically aiming to take up the 17 select schemes with the direct assistance to beneficiaries in the saturation mode and basically under this particular campaign they are focusing on the people which are living at the bottom of the pyramid that is in the rural areas and guys the participating ministries and departments will be reaching out these persons which are basically living at the bottom of the pyramid in the rural areas now the question arises in your mind that what are the different ministries under which these 17 schemes are so basically you are also required to remember these particular nine ministries and all these ministries are being mentioned here guys the whole list is being mentioned here you can just go through them on your own now let's move on to the homework question from the previous session and the question was basically on the national level workshop on innovative agriculture and you were required to tell me you were required to identify the name of the organization which has basically organized this particular conference that was basically option B Niti Ayog which is the right answer to the question and all the people who have answered the question correctly are the star performers from the previous session and guys if you also want your name to be mentioned here in the upcoming session then you are required to answer this question in the comment section the question is basically you are required to tell me that on which date all over the world the world intellectual property day is being celebrated see i want to tell you that there was a question on msme day in the rva green b phase 1 2018 exam so guys, that's why these days are really very important the day as well as theme is very important so you are also required to tell me that what is the theme of the World Intellectual Property Day 2022. Do let me know in the comment section below. And guys, if you are still not subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates of the courses and videos offered by us. And you can also join our Telegram channel to get the access to the PDF of these sessions. To join the Telegram channel, kindly click on the link given in the description below. Now, there is a good news for all of you. We are running a weekend sale in which we are offering 40% off plus additional 10% off on our various courses. The name of the courses has been mentioned here. This is basically a test series maha pack for the RB grade B for phase 1 plus phase 2 and also for only phase 1 as well. But in order to avail the particular discount you are required to use a code that is weekend which is only valid from 29th April to 1st of May 2022. So do not forget to avail these particular discounts and guys this was all from the today's session. I hope that this session was useful and fruitful to all of you. If you are having any queries you can drop us a mail at hello at the and you can also call us at 814 620 So thank you for joining us. Wish you all happy learning.